Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you, Aries, for another love reading. This one's going to be for February 2021. Now, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back. Let's see. Today we're going to use the Golden Girls Tarot. Now, if you'd be so kind as to make sure that you give this a thumbs up so it gets spread to other areas that need to hear this healing message. Now, what I do here is I ask that the people who are going to listen to this in its entirety to ask your guides, your higher self to come and talk to mine so we can give you the most healing, holy, and loving within this particular reading. Now, also, I do... Um, timeless readings and dated readings. Now, I think the dated readings for any reader is timeless. So if you go to my playlist because this one doesn't resonate, check out one with the title that goes with your situation and listen to it and let me know if it resonates for you by leaving a comment. Because that's a lot of accumulated work for spirit to give out that information. And these are so specific that I'm sure there's something there for you there if it is not here. And if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. All right, this is you, this is them, this is the storyline. I'm just looking at the cards. Now, your guides, your higher self, is there anything that you would like to add here? They're saying something about, they think that you're being silly about Worrying too much about things that you cannot control. What I hear is things are getting better. Things are not as traumatic as you think, you know, currently that you think they are. And to stay strong. You definitely are trying to have patience with this and trying to go into calmer waters with the Six of Swords here. I feel like you're holding back on some information because I don't really know if you feel like it's relevant for them to know. For your person, they've got the world card, the nine of wands, and the knight of pentacles. Especially with this nine of wands here. I think they know that you're holding back and they feel somewhat wounded about it. They want the world with you too. They want this balance. And I think that they have, have offered a solid grounded offer or they're about to, but I think that you're losing your patience here because you're like, oh my God, you are taking forever. You've got the page of wands here, the seven of cups and the knight of wands. I think because you're holding back, your person is wondering if you have other options. They want to look into the future with you. They do have a lot of passion. You know, indeed, maybe there is another option here because there is the Knight of Wands. Now, is that true, Spirit? Yes. So for the majority of you, there might be another offer where because you're like, okay, you're taking way too damn long. Like, I don't even know what your situation is. And this one, this person wants to come in with fiery passion and energy. With this moon card comes the magician. So you're you're manifesting. You, you know that you're like, I'm the catch. I'm the catch here. Hello. With the six of swords is the ace of wands. So you're willing to go not only to calmer shores, but possibly different shores. Because you're like, hey, if, if you aren't 
really that into it, then move on. Okay, you got lots of cards coming out here. Far too many to take. Yeah, because I feel at first they offered you like <clears throat> lots of reassurance and kindness and then it just became so slow and sluggish and then they felt you become, you know, kind of not sharing as much and they're like, well, what is going on here? So it's like this, it's like this weird confusion or misunderstanding, I'm, I almost want to say. So here's the temperance card with the king of wands. Yeah, because you feel like you're coming at it with, you know, this fiery, passionate king energy. The world card is the seven of pentacles. Yeah, they, they know that you've got a lot to offer. I wonder why they're dragging their feet here. You know, here's the four of pentacles where they're trying to hold on to what they have. Here's the king of pentacles with the knight of pentacles. So they're realizing, okay, maybe I just kind of breadcrumbed you and now I need to come forth with something real or this other option that you might have here. Are they afraid that someone's going to come in and swoop you away? With this page of wands comes the ten of pentacles. So they definitely, you know, are in the pentacle suit and they want to offer you something. But are they? This one came out twice, so I'm taking it. It keeps falling out. The Ten of Cups. So you've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups together. So your, you know, your Seven of Cups is like, and this is you wondering if you should go get, you know, start dating other people. And this is what you want. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. You know, and here's you going, hmm, maybe I should take the coin. But it's the only one coin and I want the rest of them but you've got it right here. So that with this Knight of Wands, so let's, and this on the bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands here. Oops, sorry. Let's see. What's their hold up? Why are they going so slowly? Why are they going so slowly? What in the 3D is stopping them? Lord, what does this mean? Yeah, with these, the, the knight and the king, they want to be able to offer you lots of um, physical comforts. And I don't think they're quite there yet. And I think that they, they're much slower moving than you are, you know, because you're a, you're a fire sign, right? So you're like, okay... Let passion rule. Let's do this. Scholar. What does that mean, spirit? Yeah, they're really trying to study their craft and make sure maybe they're going to school. And to make sure that they have enough to offer you. But I think you're getting to the point where you're like, okay, should have got off the pot. You know, them going so slow makes you wonder about it. Now... Since there is the possibility of another person involved, let's take the romance angels here and go after the person that this is about. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And I feel like that's what's missing. Is they're not being very romantic, not being very forthcoming. Now for this other person that might be coming in, give me information about them. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit a fun to shine. So for this other person that might be coming in or is in, you know, maybe they're coming in very much playful, very flirty. You know, you don't even know if they're really an option, you know, because with the seven of cups here, you're like, really? Are you really an option? Or it just doesn't seem like I have an option. Now, for the person that you're inquiring about here, well, 
Yeah, they're definitely concerned about a new love. Maybe they've actually met this person and seen you see you've inter see that you two have interacted, maybe at a party, a social setting, work, whatever it is. But I don't even really feel like this person is that much of a factor. It's more fear for your person. And you're kind of like, yeah, maybe. You know, especially when you're discontent on the speed with which your person is coming forth. But there's a lot of signs here of love. There's the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. You know, looking into the future. Um, coming in and offering that wand. Offering the Pentacle. One more card for your person here. You deserve love and you are lovable. And I think that's one of the triggers that's going on for you, Aries, is that, you know, it kind of makes you wonder why you're like, well, why isn't this person moving forward? Why are they just kind of stagnating here? I want to take this to the Four of Wands. You know, I want the Ten of Cups. I want the Ten of Pentacles. So it's here. It's definitely here. So I think that there might be a talk that needs to happen here and see if you can rectify this situation. So please make sure that you give this a thumbs up. And like I said before, if it doesn't resonate with you, you can go to the playlist and find either the dated or the um, timeless ones and go from there. Let's see, Spirit, what else do they need to know? We're going to use the Twin Flame Oracle deck here. Yeah, your person is a bit unawakened here. They don't know how to come at this in a mature manner, with especially with their emotions. You know, and that's what's caused this pause because you're you're holding back because you're like, okay, well, I don't really know what you're doing here. And because you're holding back, they're holding back even more. So it's this vicious cycle between the two of you. And that's, it's not really vicious, but it's a cycle that needs to be confronted head on. You need to balance the scales here. You need to stop wondering and start asking in a non-confrontational manner. All right, Spirit, what else? Let's do the white rose divine love messages you turn loose heaven within me and I think sometimes they struggle being grounded around you that's what I heard I feel so much beauty harmony and sweetness and shelter within us or between us so this person does love you and you know all the indicators are here with all of these cards here so I think this is a, it's just a, a lack of verbal communication between the two of you that needs to be sat down and talked about, because I feel that this is available. If this, if this other person over here isn't a real person to you, it's a fear that your person is having that you might walk away, you know, because they very much do love you. And the bottom of the deck is, am I good enough for you? So they might have some self-esteem issues going on as well. You know, and of course, the fear of this other person over here makes sense. So my suggestion here is talk to this person and become in a calm, gentle manner to get to the bottom of this. And when you do, if you do, and because I'm nosy, leave a comment down below on what this scenario, how it fits with you and you know, what it's done for you to go and talk to this person and if it, you know, rectified the situation. Because I'm nosy and I like to know. All right, spirit or guides, anything else? Okay, so they're wanting me to show you this. And you can take it for what it does for you. Relationship, mating. All right, my lovely Aries. Hopefully this was helpful. Please leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time with more content like this. Bye-bye now.